I didn't flip the camera. I didn't flip the camera. My apologies. Camera is not flipped, therefore everything will be backwards. Just letting you know ahead of time. <laughs> Come on in, I'm waiting for everybody. waiting for my girls to come on in so we can get started with Soulful Saturday. I've got lots of stuff going on, of course, <laughs> of course. And we have a sprint that's starting, as you know, this Monday. That keeps us busy, keeps us on track, doesn't it? I think it's especially important with everybody flipping out over this darn virus. You know, if you can be healthy, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna really do yourself a favor, your health a favor and your waistline. How about that? Bingo. Hi, Vanessa. I am here. Hi, Donna. Yes, I am. I am here. I am here. And like I said, I am so sorry I did not flip the camera this time. So if I hold something up, like our new quote of the week, completely backwards. You know, sometimes that's how you start a Saturday. So come on in. You know, we've had a lot of people sharing, which I really appreciate, and I keep a little list, I'll show you, of all our little sharing people right here. I keep that list, and I write it down, because when I see you sharing, I know that you, one, care, and two, that you are interested in helping people to become their better selves. And it always starts with food, you guys. We have to fuel our lives. We have to fuel it. So if we're eating a bunch of crap, we're gonna feel like crap. And if we're feeling like crap, we're not gonna be wanting to do much of anything. This is how you end up on the couch. <laughs> In couch potato land, right? Have you ever noticed that? Hi, Penny. You'll read it backwards, Donna says. Joanne says she found me with no notice. Hey, Joanne, you and me both, I never get notifications anymore from Facebook. So let's do our own notifications. What do you think of this idea? Put it on your phone. Just set an alarm for 1 p.m. every day. And by the way, you will see me tomorrow on Sunday. And the reason being, we start the sprint on Monday. So I wanna give everybody a big kick in the pants and big encouragements so that we can do this. Janice and Sarah and Doris, hello. Good to see everyone. Happy afternoon, happy Saturday, happy all the things. So don't forget that one of the things that you can do is that you can get free shipping when you order glycozyme. Glycozyme is our digestive enzyme with a proprietary process and what have you. It's really inexpensive considering how fantastic it is. And let me just add this, it also has blood sugar uh, regulation capacity. I love this stuff. I want everybody to know about it because this is the bomb.com and I've started taking it just simply because we have a lot of it right now. I've started taking it myself and I really love it. Glycozyme. Put it in your cart and when you order anything, as much as you order, you could have a, a box as big as my desk and we'll still ship it out free. Ships free is the code but glycozyme needs to be in the cup. and. If you do $250 worth of, of stuff, you get a free mindful mug as well. So if you're smart, you'll put glycozyme and you'll in, in your cart, spend 250 and end up with a big batch of goodies plus a free mindful mug. How do you like that? You know, it's, it's just, it's you guys, I have to say, Facebook is just whatever Facebook is. And those, and I will tell you, I started at 102 so I have been on Marla's site too, Fly Lady site, when, uh, and, and just waiting for that notification doesn't happen either. I just think that we need to make our own notifications. We need to stop being dependent on Facebook to do the right thing. <laughs> so there you go. Hello, Lucy. Happy Soulful Saturday. And Barbara's in the house as well. Our new, we have a new quote of the week and we do it every Saturday. And the quote of the week this week is, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. Hmm. They somehow know what you want to become. Isn't that so good? I didn't even find this one. You know who did? Our girl Jenny. Jenny found it. This is a Steve Jobs quote. You know, we lost Steve Jobs in, uh, what is it, 2011 at age 56 to pancreatic cancer. But he was a brilliant man and maybe he didn't have all the you know personal 
uh, stuff in, in place, but he surely understood how to run a business. He understood the big picture of, of technology. And I also think he had this way about him of seeing what, what, um, what expands your heart. So, uh, you know, this is the place that, that uh, we have to always come. We have to come back to our heart place. I call it the beautiful self because the beautiful self, in my opinion, is more than just your heart. It's your soul. It is your knowing. It is your intuition. This is where God dwells. It is also um, your own inner nutritional guru. This is where we can start depending a little bit more on ourselves and less on all those experts that are out there, right? There's a lot of experts out there who are taking us down the wrong path. We're saying all these things and projecting this stuff out there as if it's the gospel truth. I say take it with a grain of salt. Check out and see this, this research. Does this, <laughs> does this equate to the truth? Not necessarily. And if you're on Facebook for any time, you'll see somebody says something and then somebody says the polar opposite. And these are all both people you're thinking, well, wait a minute, who's right here? And you know who's right? She who does her own research is the one who finds the truth. Ta-da! That's how it works. That's how it works. So let's keep that all in mind, okay? And I know that everybody has got has coronavirus on the brain and, a, you know, coronavirus, coronavirus. I mean, you know, 38% of Americans thought you got it from Corona beer a couple of weeks ago. How about that? And now they're saying that, you know, people, are, it's, it's caused a big, um, uh, corona, corona Beer is saying that they've just lost market share on their beer because people are afraid to drink it. This is where we are, folks. This is where we are. This is the kind of, I don't know, ignorance or whatever that, that is out there. What about, a, what if we could be the change? What if we could have the courage to follow our hearts and our intuition and do our research so that what we know, one, we're passing along information that's been verified, number one. Number two, that we're not gonna get sucked into crazy town. You know, I don't know about you, but I got enough on my plate. I don't need to go cuckoo on all the wacko stuff that's out there. And I'm gonna tell you right now, viruses do get passed, yes indeed. But you know what? If you are maintaining your own health and your own sanity, then you're gonna you're, you're gonna be way above the crowd. Don't be another follower. Don't be another one freaking out over missing hand sanitizer. For heaven's sakes, come on. Some people won't eat Chinese food. I know that's that's crazy, but you know I will say this: stay away from the freaking buffets, man. Buffets are a big salad bars, those places, all kinds of, there's too many people on them. Too many people, and you know, people don't wash their hands correctly. Do you know that 70% of people do not wash their hands um, correctly? Most of them don't. And most of them, if you go into a public restroom, watch how they wash their hands. You know, maybe they'll hit the water for a second and then stick it under that nasty hair dryer for their hands, blech, which is, throwing around fecal matter, by the way. Think, look at all of that stuff, disgusting, it's disgusting. If they don't know how to wash their hands, does your food worker in the restaurant, are they washing your hands? Do they have plastic gloves on every time? Are they changing them all the time? Think about it. Think about all of this stuff. This is insanity, complete insanity. So I just look at all of that and think, it, this is just, you know, this is just connecting the dots, you guys, just connecting the dots. How many people are exposed to the food that you're actually eating and putting into your mouth? I want the least amount of people exposed to my food as possible. I don't want their hands on my food. I don't want, I don't want people, even though they've got the spray guards on those buffets, come on. I think it's time for us to just start being a little bit more self-sufficient, taking care of ourselves, eating as cleanly as we possibly can. And let me just give you oh, a shout out right now for your microbiome. Your microbiome. Your microbiome is basically the big defender. And when you can get your, your microbiome in place, that means stopping the leaky gut, taking your L-glutamine. Um, we have tons, by the way, of proactive probiotic in the shop. If you're not taking a probiotic at night, why not? 
You know, this is again, this is how we feed the good guys. This is, makes us strong. This is an immune booster. We need all the immunity we, can, immunity we can get. Boost up your vitamin C. Take some elderberry. Selenium's good. You know, all these things that I'm telling you about. And do the sprint. You know what the sprint does? The sprint is one of your biggest helpers because it takes out the inflammation, it puts in all the nutrition that you need, and it keeps us clean and healthy on the inside. We gotta start on the inside. That's just the truth, those are the facts. We gotta start on the inside. Yes, we do need to wash our produce. And yes, somebody was saying, yeah, it's, I, I can't even see the comment, it just went up, it says washing, like, people are talking about how washing hands is a new idea. Yes, it is. It is not a new idea. We need all of it. We need to be clean, we need to be healthy, and we need to be doing the things that we can in order to boost the immunity that we have. Period. Period. And be smart. You know, going to Costco and emptying them out of water and, and toilet paper isn't going to keep you safe and, and healthy. And then I want to, I would love to look at everybody else's carts and they have like a, a boatload of crap in there too, right? Not understanding that the very food that you eat is going to either boost your health or take it down. But your toilet paper and all that water is not going to keep you clean, not going to keep you healthy. Let's, let's start connecting the dots. Do you see it? Oh, <laughs> sorry. So if you haven't gotten your Sprint, please go to savingdinner.com. You'll see the Sprint right there. Click on it. Get your copy of it. It is free. It's free and it is the beginning of a journey. And we're going to address that journey because our journey is so crucial. Our journey is really kind of a small subset of what our life is all about. I want to talk about that because I just, what I just had this little flash of maybe a little bit of an epiphany, but um, I thought if I'm feeling this, you guys are too. So I'm going to share that in half a sec. Don't forget our Q&A is on Friday. So if you send in questions, send in questions to support at savingdinner.com in the subject line. If you put question for Leanna on Friday, I'll get it and I will answer it for you on Fridays. So that's one of our biggest days. We get a lot of people um, here talking about, you know, the, um, all the nutrition information and cooking information that, that you need. This helps us to connect the dots. I think the more informed we are, the better we are to make good informed decisions, to make decisions that are supportive of the life that we want to lead. And that's always what we're about, always. So there you go. The thing I want to say to you is this is the smartest thing that you can think about, right? Um, we have, you know, as you're thinking about like getting your vitamin C, getting your elderberry and all this other kind of stuff, order it off of, of Amazon. You don't have to go to, into GNC or anything. Order it off of Amazon and get it into the house. And while you're at it, get a B complex that's methylated. B complex helps you to um, deal with the stress in your life. And this is a stressful time. Let's not, let's not uh, mince our words. But a methylated B is important because not everybody can methylate themselves. Half the population, as a matter of fact. And if you haven't done a, a, a test that lets you know if you, you know, have, if you need to be using a methylated B or not, then just assume you can't, that, that you don't methylate. I don't. Um, I have a mutated gene. Hello, I'm a mutant. <laughs> and uh, so that makes a big difference in people's lives, um, is, is to have the, a B that they can tr truly use. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is we have we are in the midst of tra of of transferring from our former uh, supplier and manufacturer of supplements to our new one. So we will start running out of things on online as we make this. Um, we make we're trying to do it as seamlessly as possible. Seamless and perfection is is a day away. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to make this all happen. So please be patient with us as we as we are making that transition and be flexible too. You know, we have, we still have plenty of things, but we are, you know, hoping right now that, that um, we can get things speeded up a little bit, but we're looking at about a week on some of the things that we've already run out of. So stay with us though, and keep supporting Saving Dinner because you're, you're fantastic. All right, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, our journeys. 
as we go from here to here, as we are making, um, trying to better what it is that we're doing, and we're, we have habits over here that we wanna flip to get habits over here. I call it a gap. There's a gap between where we are and where we want to be. And I think that's how it is with everything. Even when we start to accomplish things, very often what happens is that we forget about those and we're looking to the next thing. And so we forget about the little wins and we get impatient with ourselves. And becoming impatient with ourselves puts us in a place of frustration and a little bit of a beating yourself up and really thinking that you haven't progressed that much when that could, couldn't be the most more further from the truth than, than, than anything because you have progressed, you have done things, you have made things work out in your life. But we are all in this place of understanding that it takes a minute and that sometimes it's not, you're not gonna see the needle move that week. You're not gonna have a, a victory in the tape measurement department even. And I, and I wanna just address a couple of things about that. I had a, a woman that I was actually counseling about this and she, she was really quite frustrated with how fast everything was going. And you know, I said to her that you know, your body works in priorities. It doesn't do it according to what you want. Your body could care less about what your gene size is right now. It's got some other work to do. Your body is not looking at what your scale says. It's got some work to do. So if you have for a few years maybe beaten yourself up with not eating correctly and eating inflammatory and feeling crappy and having pain and you're, you're over 50 pounds overweight or more or you've had 20 pounds or whatever and you've got all of these things in place, your body's not going to say, hey, oh, you want to be in those cute size six jeans? Let's do it. No, no. Your body is gonna start at the top. It's gonna to start with the priorities. What needs fixing? It's deeper than your size jeans. Get that for a minute, connect with that. Because what's going on inside first is healing. There is a priority with your body to heal. And it takes a second. It took you a while to break it all down till it finally showed up on the outside where you're saying, what? just happened here, here's a picture of me and I don't like it. Well, if that's what you're seeing on the outside, imagine what's going on in the inside. And I think if we can connect the dots with that, then we will have the, we will have patience for the process. Not only will we have patience, we'll be a whole heck of a lot more honoring with the process. You've got hunger hormones that need to heal and it takes a second. The cravings that you have, the cravings that you have are out of control um, series of events that are going on in your mind. It's, 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 you've, got, you've got addiction issues that have to be healed. You've got your lighting up over stuff that isn't here, uh, that, isn't, that isn't healed. You've got things going on inside of you that are, that are all dis, discombobulated. It's time to get those things healed. You've got maybe tissue that are healing so that you don't have the pain that you had anymore. You've got a pancreas that, that has been pumping out insulin that's exhausted. You've got a liver that is this, much, this close to being a fatty liver. You've got all of these things that are going on inside of you that are now getting corrected. And as they're getting corrected, as they're getting healed, we're flipping out and going, but my genes, but my the scale's not moving, but I, I want to be cute in this outfit for my high school reunion or whatever it is. And when we do that, we aren't being honoring to the process. And I understand it, but we have to realize that there's a lot of brokenness inside. There is, just by, by happenstance, just by the fact that we're in the place that we're in. If you've, if you've fought cravings, then you've got brokenness inside. If you have a hard time not snacking all day and that you're trying to get your the food under control, you've got brokenness inside. If you're, you know, you've got PCOS or you've got a fatty liver disease or you've got insulin that's broken, you know, you have diabetes, you've got brokenness inside. 
that all needs to be healed. And sometimes you really get blessed and you get to go down the yellow brick road together. You and your jeans and your scale and your measuring tape and all the brokenness inside, they all heal at one time and go together. Some people it works that way, but for others, the brokenness inside needs to get fixed. That stuff needs to, and it's a little by little process. So I invite you to be a part of that process. We so much allow this stuff to happen. It's all, you know, it's all auto and everything. We're not connecting with it. But when we connect with it, and I do this in my meditation and I invite you to do this in yours because I think it's so powerful. But when we connect and understand, hey, there's some, there's some healing going on inside and we acknowledge that healing and we acknowledge what's going on with our bodies and we're saying, yes, we're in agreement with you, leptin and, and ghrelin. We are in agreement with you that those things need to be fixed. We are in agreement with all of these parts of our body and that we really actually participate in the healing of it. It is that much more powerful. And it gives us an, a moment to really allow for this process to happen. It gives us a whole heck of a lot more patience. It allows us to see that this progress that's happening is on the inside. And just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Let me just say this. Do you, have you ever seen your fingernails grow or your hair? We've never seen it. And yet we wake up and we need a haircut and we need to get our nails clipped, right? It's happening, but we don't see it. This is how it works. Our bodies are working on our behalf, especially when we're participating with it, and it makes it a little bit more tangible. It makes it realer. And realer, is that a word? It makes it more real. And when it makes it more real, we can put our hands around that, and we can be a whole lot more grateful for it, and have gratitude for the fact that that's happening inside of our bodies. It's, that's a huge thing. We get stuck on the goal, don't we? We do. We all do. I do. I want those jeans. I got my jeans <laughs> with two great big huge thumbtacks. I don't, they're, I guess they're not thumbtacks, but they're huge push pins on the back of my door I, to remind me of my goal. I have that too. I have my eyes in front. I, this is what I want, but my journey to get there is what's gonna keep me from having to do this over and over again. Hello, the carousel of crazy isn't enjoying the ride, the car getting off, sorry, getting off of the carousel of crazy means that we understand that the journey is a part of the goal. It's important. We can't do this and make it happen. We can't sprinkle magic fairy dust or go on some kind of crazy diet and make it happen. It doesn't work. We've proven that over and over again. So if we can prove that over and over again, then what is the, what's the antidote to all of this? It's enjoying the journey. It's loving the journey. It's holding fast to the process that is happening. I think it's holy. It's a holy journey to our health and our, you know, yes, of course, our waistlines and whatever, but it's a journey. And if we look at it from the process that this is the last time we're gonna be doing, having to do this, this kind of rebuild work, because we've, de we've done the destruction and now we're rebuilding. And it takes a minute. It takes a whole lot. We can be a whole cheerleading squad for, the in, for our bodies of what's going on inside. Think about that for a minute. When you're appreciated, how does it feel? When somebody says, thank you, you know, you went out of your way and you did all of this. Thank you, I'm so delighted that you decided to come to this or whatever. How does that feel? How does that make you feel? Well, I have a feeling that our bodies if we just take a minute to acknowledge the work that's going on our behalf, that our eyes blink when they need to, that our heart beats as it needs to, and that our, our lungs fill with air as it needs to, and that our bodies heal as they are meant to, as they are inclined to, because we're doing the right things at last. There's magic that happens in that. And in, in our soulful Saturday, 
I want you to start acknowledging this magic. I want you to start celebrating this magic that's happening inside of you. You can't see it, but it's happening. Just as sure as your hair is growing and your nails are growing, there's magic happening inside of you. And if we can be appreciative and have strong, heartfelt gratitude for that, how much more is that gonna make the journey more enjoyable, right? Forever, <laughs> however long it takes. It's not about getting there, it's about the road trip. When people go on road trips, they're excited about the road trip. Sure, they're excited about the destination, but they get to stop along the way. They get to see things along the way and they get to have a fun time. Have you ever been on a road trip with somebody who was just hell bent on getting there? And it was just like, you just drove the whole time and there was just no stopping and no stopping to get out and to see the you know area around you. It was just get stop, get gas, <laughs> go to the bathroom, eat in the car. Is that fun? No, but that's our attitude sometimes when we have, we're, we're looking toward the goal. I wanna lose 50 pounds, I wanna lose 100 pounds, I wanna lose whatever. Yes, I get it, you wanna get there, but let's stop and celebrate this. And you know, my biggest advice to you is that you, that you start journaling about this, just the little things, the little things and the bigger things. Catherine shared in our sprint group that her doctor had got her down on, cut her uh, insulin in half again. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I mean, she is celebrating. You know, she didn't get on there and say, hey, I'm down 15 pounds or gee whiz, you know, that great looking jeans here. She's celebrating a health victory. She's celebrating a health victory because she is, she is her persistence and con consistency is, is just, is incredible. That is the journey. Consistency is the journey. Consistency is what the journey's road is paved with. And how wonderful is it when you get to see those kind of results? That's part, she's not there, but she's celebrating that big nugget, that big milestone that happened. And we all have them, yet we easily forget about them. So let's start journaling, shall we? Start journaling and writing all of this down. And be watchful and be expectant that you're gonna have evidence of this healthy stuff coming in, showing you as you align with your body, as you align with what's going on in the inside, you're gonna start seeing things that are gonna go, aha, look at that, you know? And you maybe it will be with, you know, a size smaller jeans or you know your scale or your measuring tape is going to do something wonderful for you but right now the most important thing that you can do is love yourself for where you are right now be expectant and watchful and knowing that your body is doing the work to heal you on your behalf love your body love yourself enough that that is enough okay that is enough. Ooh, Tammy, come into the sprint, honey. We can help you. I, I understand. I have an autoimmune disease too, and we are here to help you. Just go to savingdinner.com and we can start there. Two, you know, being 200 pounds overweight is, is just, it's a bigger number, but it doesn't mean that that's the end. It's time to start looking at what can you do, not what's against you. What can you do, Tammy? We're here for you, and I hope you join us on the sprint. Go to savingdinner.com, grab the sprint, and then we'll join you into the, the Facebook group. We'll get you a body clutter buddy. We'll get you set up, sister, okay? We don't leave every, anyone behind. We are a community of loving people that help people along the way. I think that's why it's so incredibly successful. I think that's why people are getting the results. Am I right? <laughs> You can just, you know, you can just talk to everybody who's here right now, live on this broadcast, Tammy. You're in the right place. You know, we have the success rate that we have is because the, of a caring, loving community. It makes all the difference in the world. Without a community, you have nothing. You're a lone ranger. You're just on your own, hoping that things are gonna work out. With a community, and then you take it a step further, you get yourself a body clutter buddy, the world starts to change. Am I right, ladies? I know that's right. 
So that's what I have for you today. And don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday and I will be on tomorrow. I usually take Sundays off, but when it's um, when we have the sprint, this hair is driving me crazy. When we have the sprint, I'm, I'm going to be there encouraging you to get started. And for those of you who are getting ready and just got it or whatever, read every single page, read all of the stuff. It's education and it's going to tell you why we do the things that we do. And I am telling you the other thing that's so incredible that as you do this, you're gonna get support in the community, you're gonna find yourself feeling so much better, maybe you'll feel a little crappy to start, but I am telling you, things happen when we do this. And when we do it together as a group, there's magic. There's so much magic. Tammy, you have seen nothing yet. She said, it's so nice to see the support. Just wait till you get into the group. This is a group of women who love each other, have each other's backs, and um, under my watch, I promise you, I don't. I, if I don't see somebody in there, I'm gonna point. Them, I'm gonna tap them on the shoulder and say, "Where are you?" This is how we get things done, and it makes all the difference in the world. So that's what I have for you today, and I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope this. I hope this helped you. I hope this helped you to understand that inside of you is everything that you need to get going. Inside of you is everything you need. And if you're feeling a little frustrated, feeling a little like things aren't moving quickly enough, understand that aligning with the body, your body's process is one of the things that's gonna to help to elevate this whole journey and make it, it, turn it into a more enjoyable journey too, okay? That's just how it works. Isn't God amazing? He's the one who built us like this. I love it. Okay, peace and peace be with you, and stay healthy. If you need anything, you know where to find me, and I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock p.m. Eastern. Thank you. Love you guys.